YouTube, my name is Danica, and today I'd like to do a book review for you. The book I have to review today is Perdido Street Station by China Miebo. And this review is actually a video response to Candace's at Librarian Fan Mail because she recently read this book and actually did a fantastic review over on her channel. So I kind of have conflicted feelings about this book. It is a story mostly about the city of New Krobusen and it follows mainly the character of Isaac, who is kind of an eccentric scientist, as well as his girlfriend, Lynn, who is a different species than him, and Yeg Herrick, I'm sorry, I don't know how to pronounce any of these words, who is a Garuda, which is another species, who Isaac is trying to help as a client of some sort, and a little bit of Durkin, who's actually my favorite character, who's kind of underground, reporter, and also I think a lesbian, so that was good. The plot starts off pretty slowly, it isn't about 250 pages in that you really figure out what the plot is going to be about, which actually was fine. Beginning was so interesting, developing the characters, developing the world building was so interesting that I didn't really mind that I wasn't sure where the story was going. Even after the plot is established, it doesn't get really action-packed until the last 50 pages. The focus of the book is on the setting. The book begins with a map of the whole city, which I always find really intimidating. Mievo describes everything in this really <laughs> disgusting, like sometimes turns your stomach way of this rotting city, but at the same time it's also a source of all of this new ideas and the science that Isaac is working with and all of these people who are living their lives, so it's a really fascinating setting. The thing that really tends to determine whether I like a book or not is the writing, and that's sort of the aspect of the book that I am so iffy about. It is obviously very skilled writing. He knows what he's doing. He has a huge vocabulary. Like, it's really dense writing. If you're the kind of person who wants to look up every word that they don't know when you're reading a book, you're gonna have to read this with a dictionary in one hand. It also is not a fast read. Part of that is because of the vocabulary. Part of it is because so much time is spent describing the setting. I have a coworker who actually turned out to be reading it at about the same time as me, and he's a pretty fast reader, but it took him a month and a half to get through this book because he would read 50 pages in a week and then put it down for two days and finish two books, come back, slog through another 50 pages. And he was saying that every chapter seems to start with spiraling in from the city, describing the city and then describing the subset of the city and then describing the house and then you zero in on the doorway and then you start in on the characters, which is fairly accurate. So it is skillful writing and I can appreciate that, but it doesn't mean that it was really enjoyable to read. The characters I actually did like, I wasn't as interested in Isaac, I really liked Lynn. I'm not sure I was totally satisfied with Lynn's story, and I really liked Durkin, but Durkin didn't have that much of a big role, she was really more of a minor character. And the plot was really interesting, but it did move pretty slowly. The other factor that makes it hard for me to decide whether I liked this book or not is that the world building is amazing. He has created this entire world, there are multiple different species. Lynn is a species that has like a humanoid body, but her head is an insect. Not just the head of a beetle, but an entire beetle is her head, and you just start the first chapter with that. Yagarek is a Garuda, which is sort of a bird person. There's all of these different species, and there's all of these different cultures, and it is all so detailed, there's just so much whisperings of different politics and different philosophy and different sciences, and this is all just focused on one city, and then you just kind of get the barest idea that there are tons more cities around this world that you don't even get to hear about. So even though I felt like it was slow to get through all the descriptions of the city, 
at the same time, it was one of the book's biggest strengths. This amazing, diverse, kind of disgusting <laughs> world that Mievo creates. And I know this is the first book in a trilogy. I don't think that it's the same characters in the other two books, but I do think it's the same world. I am not sure whether I want to go on to the next book, so I'm divided. If you've read this book, please tell me what you think. If you've read other books of China and Mieville's, let me know what you thought about those. I would love to have a discussion about it. Also, do check out Candace's video if you are interested in this book because she's much more eloquent than me about it. Thanks for watching. Bye!